All right. Hello, Assalamualaikum, and uh, very good evening to everyone. So it's uh, 9.10. We are actually five minutes to 9.15. The class is, uh, supposedly we start the class at uh, 9.15, but I think it's, I think everyone is here. Is everyone here? I think everyone is here. We have Adib, Alia, Arisa, Giri, Hana, Farish, Nora Hazik, Navina. Navina, you're, you're a new student, right? Navina is new, Nurfazana, and we have no Shafika. Other than Navina, are there any other new student? Semua dah lama dengan cikgu kan? Only Navina. Alright, only Navina. Alright, so welcome lah. Welcome to my class. Alright, now I shared with you uh, um, three activities which I posted in the uh google google what google drive lah have you all downloaded the documents have all of you downloaded the documents okay all right done 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 other than giri inshira you've just joined us um download the document first before we start with our class all right Done. Done. All right. Now, basically, what we are going to do for this month is uh, reading comprehension. Uh. All right. Now, if you look at the new syllabus, reading comprehension is part of the syllabus. All right. Navina, uh, okay, download first. All right. We'll wait since it, it's only 9.13. We have nine, two minutes to 9.15. Now, I'm going to share with you the syllabus, the uh, new English syllabus. Uh. English. How's it Now, um, I think only Hana. Hana, Hana joined the seminar. She participated in the seminar which was held um, last Saturday. So during the seminar, I mentioned about the new syllabus. I, uh, I mentioned the syllabus to you guys earlier this year, again. So just to share with you again, so that uh, you can be well aware of the new syllabus. Good job. Why did I put it? Okay, this one. Okay, I'm sharing with you the uh, document for our new syllabus. So, good job, here. Yeah. All right, so reading comprehension is in which paper? So, as you have. Um, your part one is uh, whereby you have to write uh, an email. And then this one is what we did last month. Yeah, last month kita buat ni. Whereby you've given the points and uh, you have to elaborate on those points. So this is the short version, I think. But no worries. Okay, back to our... Our document just now, the reading comprehension, there are two texts, all right, and a few questions for each text scan. Now, to prepare you for next month, remember uh, what we planned earlier this year? Uh, after PASA, we'll be having our oral test scan. Remember or not? 
the plan that we made uh, earlier this year. Ingat tak? Remember? All right, of course, remember. Good. Now, to prepare you for the oral test, I will select at random a few students, all right, a few of you, to read out one paragraph each for each text. Lah. All right, for this week, we only have two texts, text A and text B. Wait, I'm not sharing it right now. Let me share it with you. Okay. This one. Can you open this document as well? Reading comprehension one. The, the documents that I shared in the Google Google Drive, there are three. Reading comprehension one, two, and three. Can you open reading comprehension one? Okay, have you opened the uh, the document? So for each document, there are two texts. Text a and text b so this one is text a and then we have text b okay now we'll start with text a okay we'll start with text a now i'm going to choose at random how many how many paragraphs uh, do we have we have satu, dua, tiga, empat. Lima, enam. so we have uh, six paragraphs all together so for the first text I'll choose six uh, random students to read one paragraph each. All right. So that uh, just to prepare you for next month, lah, just to make you familiarize with the words. Okay. All right. Does that sound fair? Does that sound fair to you? Fair or not? No one is responding. Can all right. Now, the first student that I want is um. Maybe you can start with Nabina lah, since you're new. All right, Nabina, can you read the first uh the first paragraph? paragraph? Can. All right. All right. Uh. Yang sa I sampai yang sampai ke local culture eh? Yes, uh, yes the first uh, paragraph. Okay. It, I was very excited when Linda Bong invited me over to visit her family for the Chinese New Year. You see, Linda Bong is a is of Peruvian des descent. Descent. Ah? Descent. Descent. Ah, descent. I have never been to a Perican home, so I urgently accepted. Eagerly. Uh, eagerly accepted. <laughs> the Perican of ba or Baba uh, Nina. Uh, huh? Peranakan. Huh? Peranakan. Oh. Per the Peranakan of Baba Nina are the early descendants yeah. of the Chinese who came to the Malay Peninsula settled down and assimilated into the local culture. All right, very good. Thank you. Welcome. All right. All right. Apa ni? Apa ni? Nushira, have you downloaded the file? Com Ready compre comprehension one? There are three files that I shared in the uh, Google Drive. Download reading comprehension one. So I'll choose at random lah. All right. To, uh, to read one paragraph each. So the first one was uh, Navina, the second one I want. Who oh, ah? Uh, 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 um. The second one. Adip, Adip Hari. Yes, sir. Wait, hold on. Ah, uh, Giri, you can. Uh, you couldn't find the file. Uh, uh, giri. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, can you open uh, the yes, bulan me. Ada satu file. There's one file. Uh, bulan me. Come, let me show you. Sekejap, eh. Stop presenting first. Uh, 
Uh, oh, it's fine. Okay, kan buka sini dan click on e module. Alright, then click on Sir Azim. There's only one kan Sir Azim. Then choose English. Okay, then there's one file, one separate file saying latihan bulan Mei. Boleh nampak tak? Sekarang start kat mana? Kalau kat laptop tepi ni nampak start kat yang interface yang pertama ni. Can you see the latihan bulan Mei file? Boleh, Giri. Hello, hello. Alright. Okay, so latihan bulan Mei tu kan? Boleh nampak kan? Eh, mana tadi? Oh, I see. Wait, hold on. Okay, once you open the English file, there's one separate file, Latihan Bulan Mei. Alright, click on Latihan Bulan Mei and then there are three documents. So, ready comprehension one, two and three. Uh, download the first one first. Okay, alright, now, settle, settle. Continue with the text just now. Um, 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 um. So, just now, um, we had Navina, the second one, Adip, Adip, the second paragraph. Uh, the Baba, the Baba Nyonya culture is an interesting mix of the Chinese tradition. The Malay language and Chinese and Malay costume, custom Cust and customs, custom yeah. and cu cuisine. 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 Ah. The nyonyas are usually dressed in sarong and kebaya and the family converse mainly in Malay. Converses mainly in Malay. What is cuisine? Uh, I don't know. Cuisine masakan lah. Kan? Masakan-masakan. Alright. Uh, converses? Converse? Uh, bercakap. Jadi orang daerah ni dalam family Kebaya. bercakap. Yeah, bercakap dalam bahasa Melayu. Alright, very good. Thank you. Uh, yours is very short, uh, this paragraph. So, lucky you. <laughs> very short this time. So, uh, the third one. Before I choose, are there any uh, volunteers to read the third paragraph? It's a bit lengthy. If no, then I'll, uh, I'll choose. Ah, uh, uh. uh, ada paragraph. Eh, paragraph. Navina, Navina, you have uh, read the first paragraph. Okay. But you can try in the second text. Uh. Wait, just to make it fair for everyone. Okay, I'll choose. Uh. Um, Nur Surya. Oh, your name is Anis. Oh, that's why I'm like, eh, lembut betul suara Adib ni. <laughs> Alright, okay, Anis. All right. Uh, just now, who? Ah, uh, no, Surya. No, Surya. The third paragraph. My name. Ah, dengar kan sir? Ah, dengar dengar. Okay. Linda explained that a long time ago, her great grandfather was very rich and an elite member of society, like most of the uh, the babas. The babas were arrogant, arrogant as they then were proud of their luxurious lifestyle. Luxurious. <laughs> Like serious lifestyle and they are invite status in society. Oh. Unfortunately, uh, and, and wait, wait, hold on. Envy, eh? Envy. They invade, the, invade. The envy. Envy. Uh. Envy status in society. Society. Unfortunately, okay. in the year 1930, the Baba, Heri the Baba heritage started to decline during the depression. The Baba who the Babas who own large rubber estates suffer great losses. Then losses. during the losses, losses. Okay. Then. Okay. 
bring the Japanese occupation of Malay, the Baba share hardship and discrimination along with the non Baba Chinese. The non Baba Chinese who were accused Tom fifty to hard work managed to recover. However, uh, uh, the rich Baba a custom born with a, a custom a custom uh. fifty to hard work managed to recover. However, the rich Babas born with silver spoons in their mouths were unable to cope and went into a period of decline. Were they lost more. Uh, hold on. Were unable to cope. Unable were to cope. Unable to cope and went into a period of decline. They lost most of their property and wealth and become became quite poor. Quite poor. Quite. Quite. Quite poor. Quite poor. Quite All right. Poor. Okay, now there is um this one what do you call it uh privasa lah kan right? privasa in English uh here silver spoon. What do you understand about people who is born with silver uh, silver spoon in their mouth? Rich kan macam hidup senang. Alright, silver spoon tu. Uh, silver spoon uh, in their mouth maksud dia macam orang yang senang. Lahir-lahir dah senang. Alright. Now, okay. Thank you, uh, Surya. Surya, is your name really Surya, or you using you using your brother account? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Surya. Oh, yes, Surya. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Acha. Ekal elai ngan. Alright. Thank you. Um, next, I want, I want who 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 who. Uh. Oh. Giri, all right. Okay, Giri. Where are we now? Uh, this one I, I listened to. Okay. Um, I listened in fascination as Linda's mother described the Baba Nona tradition, wedding ceremony. Matchmaking was a norm of the Baba Nona tradition. People were proud to be matchmakers as these matchmakers were well rewarded with cash and other possessions. Ooh. Engagement gifts usually varied. Linda's mother. Okay, uh, uh, just now varied, very, uh, nah. Usually uh, varied. Okay. Very. Uh. Linda's mother received a bowl of glutinous rice ball in syrup, candles, meat, a wedding dress, shoes, and two diamond rings. In return, her family had to give the groom a silver belt, a pair of men's slippers embroidered by the bride. And a fan to carry on the wedding day. The wedding day was lavish, twelve day affair. Hmm. The bridal chamber was in the bride's house, and the five days before the wedding, a teenage boy was asked to roll back and forth from one of the one end of the bed to the other three times. This boy had to be born in the year of the dragon and have both parents still alive. Sadly, these traditions. Have been disappeared today. All right, very good. Okay, uh, just now, uh, what is, what is uh possession? What is possession? Yes, yeah, a harta benda. Okay, uh, embroidered. Embroidered cloth. Embroidered cloth. Um. Like stitching. Yes, uh, like stitching. Apa kalau bahasa Melayu, what do we call it? Uh, ni. Apa bahasa Melayu, what, what do you call it? Embroidered. Uh, apa eh? Kalau bahasa Melayu. Sulaman. 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 Yes, uh, Sulaman. Very good, very good. Okay, thank you, Giri. Okay. How many? Okay, another. The last two paragraph. Uh, siapa? Siapa? Anyone? Navina, hold on, okay, uh, because um, you have al already read the first paragraph. Let's give the others a chance as well. Uh, maybe Izati Zaki. Right, Navina, second, we have another text just uh, later, so I can, uh, you can try again, the second text. All right, uh, Izati Zaki, second last paragraph. So, ah, ah. saya suka ini baca petikan kan, so ah, ni ah. Ah. 
because because i love to read some paragraph if my school give me the one paragraph me i will finish one paragraph really yeah that's why okay okay uh maybe the sex b okay you can read this paragraph this one is lengthy okay all right all right but for the first sex uh since you have read the first paragraph Okay. So, so I'm just going just to give an opportunity, opportunity to the others to read up. Okay, okay, cancel. Can I? Can I? All right. All right. All right. Okay. I love your eagerness. Ah, very good. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, ah, uh, Izati, Izaki. Izati, Izaki. Izati. Ah, okay. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the Baba Nyonya dialect, the Baba Nyonya dialect can be considered as one of the. Ah, uh, the ah uh, this one considered, ah, huh? considered. Can be consider considered as one of the still surviving tradition today. The Baba the Baba Nyonya speak Baba Malay, which is. Colloquial, colloquial form of Malay is borrowed heavily from the Hokkien dialect. It is also a striking evidence of the Malay and the Chinese culture. Although those who speak Baba Baba Malay may mispronounce certain certain word, the their overall accent the Intonation are definitely more Malay than Chinese. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Zati. Good job. And the last one, last one, a boy lah. Ah, uh, Hazik Amsha. Hazik Amsha, the last paragraph. Here you go. Okay, can you read the last paragraph? Another heritage. Another heritage that has survived is the Nyonya is the Nyonya cuisine. Cuisine that is basically Chinese shows Malay and Indian influence. Okay, Belacan are part of the Nyonya cuisine. Also, the unique architecture of the and the design of Uh, a reflection of the Baba Nyonya culture. The Baba Nyonya remember their ancestors and pay respect to their ancestors. They hang they hang portraits of their ancestors in their homes as part of their reverence for their ancestors. They also burn paper money and other paper representations of material possessions for their dead. That their dead may not want for anything in their afterlife. All right. Okay. Just only for this one, reverence, ah, huh? reverence for the ancestor. The rest is okay. Very good, very good. Thank you, Zik. All right, there are a few questions. There are one, two, three, four, five, five questions. So I'm going to give you now. It's nine thirty-five. Uh, if I give you around five minutes, would you able to finish five questions? Also, it's important that kalau lima minit to finish off uh, these five questions. Sempat ke tak? Ten minit. Tak sempat. Alright. Um. Nine thirty-five. Ten minutes. Nine thirty-five to nine forty-five. Okay. okay. All right. Question one to question five. Okay. To so, those who yes. Ah, uh, what is mean of uh, what's the meaning of Baba and Nyonya? Baba and Nyonya is actually a, a group of people. Uh, it is actually a sub race, lah. Again, okay. Mm. Like um, we have Malay, we have Chinese, we have Indian, we have Iban, we have Katazan. Now, okay. they. So during the old days, there was mixed marriages. All right. So between Malay and Indian, we have 
the mama again, golongan mama. Now between the Malay and the Chinese, when they intermarriage, they they have baba nyonya. So that is why when you read in the first paragraph, they say baba nyonya mix the culture of the Malays and the Chinese. All right. Local so the baba culture? nyonya, they are okay. Okay, yeah, local culture lah. Since they are staying here, again. Okay. Ah, um, actually, baba nyonya again. If you look at history, they exist for hundreds of years lah. If you Really study is jarah kan? Remember, okay. uh, Melaka used to be an entrepot, right? One of the most popular pots in this region, or if not, one of the most popular in Asia, kan? Right. Mm. So we have so many races coming here. So they intermarriage. So when they intermarriage, they create a new uh, subculture or new culture, kan? All right. So mm. Baba and Nyonya ni is a mixture between the Malays and the Chinese. All right, so that is uh, what we have when there is um, a, a, a mix between the Malay and the Chinese, right? So that is Baba Nyonya. Lah. They are more, uh, they are prominent in uh, Melaka, lah, especially in Melaka, Singapore, even in Penang. Lah. Straight uh, settlements, kan? Because I always heard the word Baba and Nyonya, that's why. Mm, Baba. Baba is for the, the, the male. And Nyonya is for the female, is how we call them. We address them as Baba and Nyonya. Oh, that Puan kan, Encik to Baba. Because I will, I will confuse in Baba and Nyonya, like female, male. Saya ingatkan perempuan tu male, lelaki tu female. Macam tu. Oh, no lah. No lah. Baba is for the male. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, but they call, they call them as... Uh, Baba Nyonya, Peranakan. Peranakan kan? Ah. Peranakan is those who have a uh, mix ni lah. Oh. Mix marriage lah. Okay, okay. Navina, did you join the seminar last Saturday? Yeah, sorry? Did you join the seminar last Saturday? Uh, seminar? Ah, uh -uh. Or you, you didn't join? Oh, there seminar? was a there was a seminar last uh, Saturday. I thought you're one of the participants. Yeah, no, but huh? yeah, oh. but yeah, I got I got well, I got I got WhatsApp your participant lah. Hmm. Then? But I can't join. I get I uh what only online classes right? Yep, yep, only once. Ah, uh, then after after Raya Idul Fitri, then we'll continue the PDPR lah because PKP already two lot cases in Negeri yeah, Sembilan. Yeah, yeah. No, last time it was only online. The seminar was conducted online. Hmm, tapi sekarang Negeri Sembilan dah banyak case. Satu dua belas lah, ke atas lah. Bela mana serempai? No, the Negeri Sembilan. In uh, in Jelebu, in Seremban, Seremban in Jelebu also. Oh, okay. you're from Jelebu? Uh, yeah, I'm from Jelebu. Okay, okay. Uh, where do you live, sir? Shah Alam, Selangor. Oh. Selangor pun sama lah. The, the cases are rising lah. Oh. So maybe we'll be having the third KP. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sangat, PKP. <laughs> Kalau PKP best, duduk kat rumah, PDPR lah, kelas online. Eh, best. Pisang, pisang online. Ah, <laughs> uh, Selalu on, selalu on WhatsApp. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> 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 tak best tu kalau jumpa depan-depan, senang sikit. You can just sebab, teach face to face, easier. Sebab, sebab kalau bersemuka kan saya tak faham kalau PDPR baru faham. Eh, asal terbalik? Ha? Huh? Asal terbalik macam tu? Sebab tak orang lain, dia orang kalau bosu muka, dia orang faham kalau PDPR dia tak faham kan? Hmm. Kalau saya, if I mean, uh, if bosu muka, if face to face mean I can't understand, if uh, online class mean then only I understand. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so how was last time before COVID? Wah, wow. so, best lah kelas online, best. 
Terbalik lah, tak payah so. Saya PKP is a disaster, serious PKP is a, is a disaster, sebab, very true lah sebab, Especially now we have a third one lah yeah. ya uh, Sebab saya ingat nan, Saya, saya doa, saya pun saya doa lah Yang nanti PKP nak kena Yang nanti kena bulan Mei ni But mesti kena fikir, mesti kena fikir pik, mesti kena PDPR Jadi yeah. Dah bulan enam, dah bulan uh, then uh, January, February, March, April Then June, I will be exam Oh you have exam on uh, in June? Uh, Mid year Mid year, everyone? How about the rest? Pertengahan tahun The rest? When, when is your mid year exam? Other than Navina? Korang punya mid year bila? Tak, semua tak Jun, Haziq Jun juga Tak tahu lagi Tak tahu lagi Sekolah ada cakap nak tutup tak? Ni Aisyah, Hana, Izzati, Izzatul, Farish Ni sempat lah Katanya 20 tapi online pula Aisyah, Aisyah, Fazana, Surya Tengah exam Syak Surya Suria tu siapa? Giri. Kan? Giri pun tengah atas eh. So postpone, postpone. Hmm. Eh best lah. Kalau sekarang tak nak fikir, kalau sekarang tak nak pilih PR, langsung tak faham. <laughs> Terbalik. <laughs> kalau oh, jap. By the way, by the way, there are three minutes left. Three minutes so, left eh. So sekarang di mana? Di Shah Alam. I'm staying in Shah Alam. Yeah, I know but uh, where where you uh, teaching us now? I'm uh, also working from home. Tak, tak. Sekarang, se- sekarang dah seduduk di mana sekarang? Yang pakai from, telefon tu. From home lah. Huh? From my home. Bukan my saya own. dah sampai mana belajar. Oh, dah sampai mana belajar? Apa maksud? Uh, dah sampai mana belajar? I'm like you mean you're asking me where do I work ke apa? Sampai mana yang dah ajar, dah sampai mana dah diajar ke ataupun dah diterang Nur? Oh no I asked just now, I asked you guys to do question 1 to question 5 mm. Is that it? Uh, so just now I gave you 10 minutes ah, uh, 10 minutes to finish uh, to answer question 1 to question 5 Mm. Now it's 9.43 So another 2 minutes left Did I, did I answer your question? Hey, so Yes Tomorrow have class is it? Depends lah what subject you're taking I'm taking uh, BM, BI, Science, Sejarah Max Sejarah is on Friday Okay, then Next. science, uh, science, uh, uh, see Haziq say no class. Betul ke Haziq? Sekali gebang Haziq. Haziq, Haziq. 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 Besok ke? Semua? No? Yang ambil, yang ambil subjek tu je join huh. If not, I will be join lah uh, Join lah, if you take the subject, join lah uh, uh, If you take, if you take uh, science Just now they say on, apa, Rabu eh, on Wednesday Alright, it's 9.45 Okay, now from, from paragraph 1 What, who are the babas? Uh, wait let me choose Let me choose Who are the Babas uh, Izzatul Hasanah Wait, left me think pula uh, Nur Inshira Nur Inshira Oh sorry uh. Alright Nur Inshira Who are the Babas? Mm. Based on the first paragraph hmm. 
No. Do you know the answer? No. Okay, uh, I saw Giri. Giri raised his hand just now. Giri, who are the who are the Baba Yonya? Early descendants of Chinese who came to Malay Peninsula and settled down to assimilated into local culture. All right, the last sentence in <coughs> in the first paragraph again. All right, so that is your answer for um, the first question. Who are the Babas? Siapa Baba ni? Baba ni adalah early descendant of Chinese who came to the Malay Peninsula and settled down and assimilated into local culture. Okay, very good. From paragraph two, what does the Baba cul Baba Nyonya culture consist of? Wait, let me choose. Uh, Nurul Azrin. Nurul Azrin. Second question. What does the Baba Nyonya culture consist of? Let's look at the second paragraph. Okay. What's your answer, Nurul Azrin? Where is Nurul Azrin? Okay, maybe we can have Alia Akila. Alia Akila. What's your answer for number two? Eh, Hazik, Hazik nak. Okay, we have a volunteer, okay? Since Hazik volunteered, what's your answer for number two? Uh, the Baba Nyonya culture is an interesting mix, mix of the Chinese tradition, the Malay language and Chinese and Malay customs and cuisine. Alright, nice. Spot on. Okay, cantik. Very good. So, this is the answer to number two. Eh? Number two. Alright, okay. Number three. Any volunteer for <coughs> number 3A? Why were the early Babas proud and arrogant? Any volunteers? Selain Hazik dengan apa ni tadi, Giri. Hana, Hana, can you answer 3A? Yes. Okay. So paragraph three, okay. What's the question just now? Um, uh, why were the early Babas proud and arrogant? The the early Babas proud and arrogant because of their the the luxurious 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 lifestyle and their envy 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 status in society. All right, so this is the answer for 3A. Very good, Hana. Any volunteers for 3B? Any volunteers? No? Then I'll choose again. Uh, far as... Farzana, Nur Farzana, 3A. From paragraph it's 3, not... list two factors. Boleh tulis ni? Okay, tak nampak lah. Kenapa ni? Tak nampak. Apa, apa? What's uh, question number 3? Okay. okay. List two factors that causes the downfall of the Babas. Okay. From paragraph three, downfall of the Babas, paragraph three. Okay. What's your answer? Farzana? Um, during the dispersion, the Babas were on large travel, states suffer great loss. Uh, okay, tak tahu. Sekejap, I'm confused. Okay. All right. Uh, And during the Japanese occupation of Malaya, the, the Babas share hardships and discrimi 
discrimination along with the number of Chinese. All right, Chinese. All right, okay, good. So there are two sentences uh, for this uh, to answer this question. Uh. First is during the depression, the Babas who own a large rubber estates suffered great losses. So that is the first statement. The second statement during the Japanese occupation of Malaya, the Babas shared hardship and discrimination. Everyone got that? Everyone got the answer? Dapat? Dapat. All right. Okay, mana tadi? Sini kan? <coughs> okay. From paragraph four, why would people of the Peranakan culture want to uh wants to be want to be matchmakers? Um, siapa lagi belum eh? Farish. Farish. All right, Farish. Where is Farish? Hey, where's Farish? Alia, I called out your name just now, but you didn't answer. But you are back in. Can you answer 4A? Oh, kat tandas tadi. Dah ada tak? Ke sekarang ni ada kat tandas? Saya dekat, saya dekat tandas sekarang ni. Saya, uh, saya tak rasa. Oh, okay. Okay, saya tak dulu. Saya tak dulu. Saya dengar saya panggil. Ini lah, ambil banyak. Ah, tak betul. Saya tak dulu. Okay, okay. okay. Ali Akila. Ali Akila. I see you have two accounts here. So can either of the account answer 4A? Uh, okay. People were proud to be matchmakers as these matchmakers were well rewarded with cash and other position. Okay, this one up. Kan? People were proud to be matchmaker as this la 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 were well rewarded with cash and other possessions. Very good, Alia. So this is the answer for 4A. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay. So for A2, what was Linda's father's engagement uh, gift? Since um, Giri, Giri, just now I saw you raise your hand. And... Okay, Giri, maybe you can answer for A2. Okay. Oh, wait, sir. Linda's father's engagement gift. This one is in uh, paragraph four. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. Ah, okay. So okay. Uh, what? Wait, ah. Uh. It is actually a, a trick. They trick you. Or they, they, they play with words yes, yes, in this yes. question. Uh, a silver belt, a pair of men's slippers embroidered with the bride. And a fan to carry on the wedding day. Okay, which one now? Uh? Uh, this one now? Uh? Uh, uh, give the groom a silver belt. A pair a of family had to give the groom a silver belt. But if you read the question, uh, what was Linda's father's engagement gift? Uh, yeah, is it yeah. a gift that the father gave to the bride or given to him? Huh? Given to him, right, sir. I think so. I think so. It's uh, the gift given to him. So the answer, your answer just now, uh, silver belt. Silver belt, a pair of men's slippers embroidered with, with the bride, uh, by the bride and a fan to carry on the wedding day. All right. Very good. Okay. So sometimes they treat you now. They play with words. Eh? 
So that's the answer for number 4A2. All right. 4B. Farish, Farish, are you still in the toilet? That point, no need to answer. I, I, I assume the silent as yes. Um, siapa lagi? Muhammad Nur Hazik. Muhammad Nur Hazik, a teenage boy, was asked to roll back and forth from one end of the bed to the other three times. How was this teenage boy chosen? Muhammad Nur Hazik. This one is. This one. All right. Uh, this question. A teenage uh, boy was asked. Okay, okay. How was the boy? The teenage this, boy chosen. This boy had to be born in the year of the dragon, and have both parents stay alive. All right. Bullseye. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good job. Okay. So this is the. Um, the answer for that question. Uh, number five, give two ways to illustrate how the Baba Nyonya pay respect to their ancestors. Siapa uh, belum lagi? Navina lah, Navina. Navina, number five. Navina. Hello, hello. Okay, Navina is. Ah, Alright, okay. Can you answer number five? Give tepi lah. Macam mana benda ni ke tepi? Give to ways to illustrate how the Baba Nyonya pay respect to their ancestors. So this one must be in which paragraph? <coughs> Alright, the answer is actually is in ah, huh? tiga kesa. Apa ni? Tiga kesa apa? Paragraph. Yes, the answer lies in the last paragraph. Eh? Ini last paragraph. Eh? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. Yes, the last paragraph. Uh, Hazik, what is yeah. the answer? Yeah. The answer is they hang portraits of their ancestors in their homes as part of their reverence for their ancestors. All right, this one. Have any of you watched Mulan? Yang cartoon ni lah, bukan yang live version lah. Have any of you watched Mulan? Time kecil kecil ke? Uh, tak sempat habis pun tengok. Ah, tapi dia awal-awal lah, ingat tak? Masa awal-awal yang kecil uh, semayang tu kan? Lepas tu kan yang ada apa? Wushu yang dragon color merah tu kan ada kat situ juga kan so yang batu-batu tu semua tu yang tu dia punya ancestors lah kalau korang tengok cerita Mulan Alright, we have another 15 minutes to go we just read through the uh, text again I'll choose six students at random mm, and then you can answer the questions at uh, maybe after class lah. if you have time you can answer it now lah if not Take it as your homework lah. So we have berapa paragraph? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven paragraphs again. I want volunteer, any volunteer to read the first paragraph? Okay, you should, you should be volunteering lah because this is just to familiarize you with the way to talk, the way to pronounce words. Because later, when we uh, when we finish with our Ramadan, uh, maybe after Raya lah, we'll be uh, doing this oral exercise. Alright, speaking test to prepare you for the speaking test. 
Okay, any volunteers to read the first paragraph? All right, Hazik, Hazik, the first paragraph. A wedding is a ceremony in which two people are unite, unite, united in marriage. Wedding traditions vary greatly between cultures, ethnic groups, religions, countries, and social classes. Most weddings involve an exchange of wedding vows by the couple and a public procla proclamation of marriage by a religious leader. Special wedding gowns are worn and the ceremony is usually followed by a wedding reception. People all over the world practice numerous wedding customs that, that have been passed on through, on through many generations. Although it has a long history and significance, significance many seem strange and out of place today. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think this uh is uh, is this another paragraph? Ke someone? Another paragraph, right? Right there. Something okay. Good. Thank you, Azik. Okay, Azik, no problem with Azik just now. Okay. Uh, other than Azik, Amsha. Farish, are you still in the toilet? Sorry, I have to ask you in uh, public here. Okay, I'll take the silence as yes. Um, any volunteers to read the second paragraph? I want... Alia, just now, I call you. Just now? Yes, sir. Nurul Azrin, okay. Okay, okay, Farish. Farish. <laughs> Farish. Okay, uh, Azri, read the second paragraph. Very good, very good. So far, no problem as well, uh, Azrin. Okay, just uh, just a question. What is log sawing? What is log sawing? What is a log? What is a saw? Log sawing. Apa dia benda tu? Log sawing. Ah yes, Giri. What is log sawing? Ah, uh, cutting. Trees, cutting log, cutting wood. Kan? Uh, log tu adalah uh, satu kayu kan? Jadi awak nak menggergaji. Saw tu menggergaji lah. Sawi menggergaji. So yang tu is a German tradition whereby dah kahwin tu dua-dua tu kena work together untuk nak gergaji sebatang kayu tu lah. Log tu. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Hazik and Azrin. So just now, okay. The third paragraph, a very short one. A very short paragraph. So I think you should volunteer to read since this is a very short paragraph. Any volunteers for this very, very, very short paragraph? Nur Shafika Hazira. Nur Shafika Hazira. Yes, sir. All right. Can you read the third paragraph? Yes. <clears throat> the French have an interesting after wedding tradition known as chivalry. Friends Chivery. and family, uh, friend and family of the newly married couple gather in the evening and 
clang pots and pans, ring bells, and blow horns intended to startle and disturb the couple. Open hearing all the noise the new living are to come out and provide their tormentor with various refreshments. Okay. Is that your brother in the background? No. Oh, okay. All right. Clang pots and pans. What does that mean? Apa maksud tu? So in uh, in the German tradition, once you get married, kan? Kan? Uh, standard lah, kan? Uh, pengantin malam pertama, tapi orang ramai nanti akan buat bising lah. So they clang the pots and the pants, buat bising, buat bising, so that untuk panggil uh, pasangan pengantin baru tu untuk layan dirang lah, bagi <coughs> apa? Refreshments ke apa. So that is the German tradition. Alright, very good. Kena Shafika. Um, so just now, Navina, Navina, you wanted to read kan? Yeah, just now. So in Italy, okay, ha, Navina, you wanted to read just now. In Italy, yeah, the common here. Yeah. In Italy, uh -huh. it. In, in Italy, it was customary for the groom to carry a talisman, a piece of iron in his pocket on the day of his wedding. The talisman was believed to ward off misfortune and protect him. The bride wore a veil which was believed to protect her from evil spirits. In the early days of arranged marriages, the bride and groom of, often knew saw each other at never saw, one, never saw never saw each other never saw each other at all before the wedding even when couples were well acquainted 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 yeah. acquainted before marriage it was still considered bad luck for the groom to Glimpse, glimpse the bride before the wedding. After the wedding, the newlyweds would shatter a vase or glass into many pieces. The number of pieces represented the expected number of years they would be happily married. All right. Okay. Thank you, Navina. All right. So the last three paragraph, volunteers, volunteers. Uh, uh, um. Who raised up the hand? I can saw from here. Somebody, somebody got raised their hand, but I don't know who okay. who is that. Uh, 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 let me check. Let me check. No one. Huh? <laughs> Uh, Adib Har, eh, Adib pula, Anis, Anis, can you read it again? Can you read uh, again for which paragraph are we? One, two, three, four, five. The fifth paragraph. We are which? Which? Uh, which? In Ireland. Okay. <laughs> in Ireland, New Wales celebrate the month after the wedding by drinking meat. A drink made of fermented honey. Following the wedding, the bride and groom were given a suf sufficient. 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 Uh, amount of milk amount? along with special goblets so they could share their unique brew for one full month. For so for one full moon or a month after the wedding. It is believed that this delicate and potent... Delicate? Delicate? Uh, just not delicate. De delicate? Delicate and potent drink was the best way to ensure a good beginning to a new marriage. Incidentally, the words honeymoon may have originated 
Origin. Originated. 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 From the okay. tradition. Sorry, From sorry. This All right. Okay. And no worries. A, a very good start. A very good start. Well done. Well done. Okay. Thank you, Anis. Okay. I'm just going to read this paragraph. Lah. All right. Then uh, I'll choose another one to read the last paragraph. Eggs which represent fertility and righteousness in many Muslim cultures are often given to guests as symbolic gifts. Also, the bride and groom may be showered with rice, sweets and flowers as they exit the wedding reception. In Indonesia, the groom steps on an egg to show his approval of the marriage. <coughs> in Morocco, an egg is broken during the reception because the egg white signifies light and love for the couple. Moroccan weddings can last up to seven days to deal to jury. The first three days are spent preparing uh, for the wedding. On the fourth day, a chef unites the couple. On the fifth and sixth day, there will be parties and feasts. On the seventh day, friends and family place the bride in the arms of the group. Signaling the end of the ceremony, the couple depart in a shower of figs and raisins. Once the bride arrives at her new home, she has to circle it three times to establish ownership before she can enter. Ooh. Unique, unique. All right. Last but not least, the very last paragraph. Very, very last paragraph. The final paragraph. Mm. All right. Giri again. <clears throat> okay. In Korea, the groom gives the bride's mother a white goose. Traditionally, a live goose is presented, but today a wooden goose is often used. Wild geese are true to their mates, and thus this gift is a promise that he will care for her daughter for the rest of his life. The, tradition, the traditional Korean wedding is held at the bride's home. Vows are taken in a ceremony called kunbere. The bride and groom. You, you have to you have to pronounce it as though you are uh, a Korean. Kundere. <laughs> Kundere. <laughs> Kundere. <laughs> All right. The continue. bride and groom <laughs> bow to each other and seal their vows by sipping a special drink poured into the guard ground by the bride's mother. Korean wedding banquets are very simple. Noodles boiled in beef soup is the only required dish. Long noodles symbolize a wish for a long and happy life. All right. Okay. So there you have it. The cultures around the world uh, when it comes to wedding. So in Malaysia, we have our own uh, culture. Right? So we have lots of cultures in Malaysia. So that makes us very culturally rich. But okay. Now if you, have, you have read uh, the seven paragraphs of text B and there are only five questions. All right, only five questions. So I know that you have homework as well for your school. So your homework for English is only to answer these five questions. Huh? All right. Korang. So, uh, apa dah? Uh, korang. Is it Giri in, is it uh, Giri in online? Yeah, Giri, Giri is here. Why? Uh... Giri, can you unmute? Why? Oh, what? What is happening? Uh, Giri. I think I muted. I didn't open the mic. I, I was unmuted as as soon as I finished the paragraph. Oh, um, Giri. Yeah. Uh, All right. Wait, wait. Before, before, before that, let me just uh finish my you know. All right, so um, finish the five questions and um, the due date is on Wednesday. All right, for those who, can, uh, who, who joined the BM class just now, you are required to send on Wednesday as well. Lah. So both of the works you have to send by Wednesday, except for those who are sitting for exam lah, this week. Uh, Giri, just now you have uh, exams kan? This week, so on Saturday, and siapa tak tadi lagi satu? Siapa lagi soal yang ada test tu? Yang ada exam? There's another one was sitting for exam. Saya okay. bulan tujuh, uh, Siti bulan tujuh pula. Saya bulan enam. 
Lena lambat lagi. Okay, no Ishira, okay. Focus on your exam. This work you can uh, you can submit uh, on Wednesday. Yes, hantar kat email. Yes, thank you for uh, reminding me. Okay. Where to send? To my email lah. Alright. Azim Pitching 4 at gmail.com Okay, so this is my email. Once you're done, email it to me, okay? Alright. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, could I talk? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, finish it. Uh, guys, tomorrow the class was be at uh, 